Ralph Yarl, the young man who was shot in the head in 2023, was honored this morning at the annual Going the Distance for a Brain Injury Run. KSHB 41 News reporter Caroline Hogan heard from his mother and the runners there at the finish line. It's a great feat. It's an accomplishment that you make that you don't get to do every day. Yes. Everyone has a reason to run, whether it's for family. I started running and thought this was going to be a great race, and he's a veteran, so what better thing to do on Memorial Day? It's for my brother, Brett. We called him Biz. He passed away from a brain injury 10 years ago, January. Or for yourself. I found out naturally I'm progressing, getting faster and faster, so set a PR today, so I'm real happy about that. Thank you so much for being here, Ralph. It's an honor to have you here. Yes. Ralph Yall was honored at this year's Going the Distance Run, spreading awareness for brain injury. He and his family walked for other families who have felt their pain. We all need that hope, especially the families that are caregiving people with brain injury. We all need that hope because it's hard. It just all depends on your preference and what you want. Ralph's family members, like Faith Spoonmore, showed up to support him. I am here today because this is something that I did not see myself doing. However, life is full of surprises and full of twists and turns. She's selling handmade bracelets made from recycled materials, with some of the money going to victims of gun violence. Even though this was such a tragic event, God has turned it into such a beautiful story. And I just can't wait to see where Ralph goes with this because it's going to be a great thing for him. So no matter who or what you're running for, there's Brandon Thompson, Jennifer Wetzel. That feeling of crossing the finish line makes it all worth it. The last uphill stretch really got me, but I was happy to finish what I finished. I hope that's not the only finish line I'll be crossing. And I hope that for all the families here. We need a lot more, lot more finish lines in our future. Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.